Which verse are you finding? 540. Yeah. Five Not unwilling, yeah. unable. Yeah. Quran 548. Yeah. This, this brother has mentioned it. Yeah. All right. They will not let you. <laughs> it's difficult to become one. Because Nelson Mandela said, "What can one person do? It's nothing." No, no, it's not Nelson so what did our prophet become... say? What did our prophet say? Our prophet said, "Muslims do not give ideas. Hold on to the rope of the Quran." Yes. So you have to bring Muslims What have you done? 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 You can make it bigger. Yeah, you need, yeah. Can you make it bigger, brother? All right. Why am I a big day? You remember what he said, right? Yeah, Bear this in mind. Yeah. I can't, I can't make it bigger. That's fine. The difference between the Muslims and the Do you want the brother to read it? Yes. All right. Go ahead. Is it verse 48? Yes, it's 48. 48. 48. Okay. And we have revealed to you, Muhammad, the book in truth, confirming that which preceded it of the scripture and as a criterion over it. So judge between them by what Allah has revealed and do not follow their inclinations away from what was, has come to you of the truth. Okay, to each of you... Now, have you finished verse 48? Are you going to do a different verse now or the same one? No, 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 your whole passage. You're reading, I think? Yeah, just, just 48, just 48. Okay, carry on. Okay. Exactly. Um, where was I? To each of you, we prescribe the law and a method had Allah willed, he would have made you one nation united in religion, but he intended to test you in what he has given you, so race to all that is good, to Allah is your return altogether, and he will then inform you concerning that over which you used to differ. From what you've read, does it sound anything like what he was claiming? And I'll ask you the same question. Let the gentleman here understand it. When it came to Abu how come the Quran I said it is a No, no, let him understand by himself. What translation of the Quran is this? Can you let him understand? Uh, no, 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 I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Brothers, 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 can you just move a little bit that way, please? No, 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 no. You have to, we have to, we have to restate your point. What was your point? Restate your point. My point was that Muhammad was instructed. He didn't say Muhammad, he said us Muslims. Yes, so should go and ask. Yeah. No, you said, let me tell you what you said, because you are now changing every, every single time. You said Muslims should go for an explanation. Is Muhammad not Muslim? Excuse me. Is Muhammad not Muslim? Is Muhammad not Muslim? Yeah. Excuse is Muhammad Muslim? If Jesus was, if Muhammad and you are Muslim, you are instructed to go. Jesus was a Muslim. That's not your, what your wording was. There. First of all, you keep Allah. shifting Read your goalposts. No, I'm not. You said, not. you. You are, no, no. are you a man of integrity? Are you a man of integrity? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not going to talk to someone who doesn't know what the man of integrity is. Okay? I would like to continue a conversation which I consider to be man of integrity. I mean, so far I haven't seen from you or understood from you that you are not a man of integrity. That's why I was able to continue the discussion with you. Anyone who doesn't understand that they, are, they have integrity, they need to really check themselves. And if they want to shout only. Yeah, they need to check themselves. What you have read in this translation has nothing about Muslims should go and ask for a clarification and understanding of what the Quran says. Zilch. Nothing. Zero. Ta-da! Sorry. What Quran is it? There's only one Quran, bro. There's only one Quran. That's the international version. International uh, translation, if that's what you're asking. There's only one Quran, bro. I'm not in the same context. It's not the same. That is why I was reluctant for your interjections because I know from my previous experiences all your interjections are like that. They are not something that you can substantiate. You're doing this to interrupt the flow of a discussion. In my it's not helpful, brother, to anyone. That's, that's all you do. That's what I'm saying is, if you really want clarification of things, me and you, none else. We can sit down on the grass, on the park, and, and 
Listen, I let you, you're not letting me finish. You're not letting me finish. I want to learn. I want to learn. You're not letting me even finish. What I am offering is this. We can sit down. Are you listening? Sing is not even listening. Brother, brother, the guy's making you. I am saying we can go and sit down in the park there, spend hours, and go through whatever clarification you need. Rather than every discussion that I have, you are like a heckler coming in interjecting. That is not the way how you learn things, is it? It doesn't help, bro. That's not true, is it? You're not going to get anywhere like that. What? What do you mean, what? Okay. What do you mean, what? To, to summarize, <laughs> Quranic inimitability. It's miracle. It's in the way the Quran is delivered and what it has delivered in the way it has delivered. It cannot be matched at all. Full stop. People have cried. Even that time, or even today, only to be ridiculed by themselves or their peers. Because what they've come up with the language, it was laughable. They ridicule themselves, it's not something that is not known. People have come up with something very, very laughable things. Because they're trying to use the Quranic stylistics. And using these Quranic stylistics produced the words that use laughable results. Laughable results. One of the examples is like this. Something like this, right? This is trying to imitate this surah. Others. Others. Can you see? Al-Qariya, Al-Fi. Mal-Qariya, Mal-Fi. Wama adraka mal-Qariya, Wama adraka mal-Fi. Elephant. What do you think the elephant is? What is the elephant? What do you think the elephant is? And then it has a uh, long tail or short, short tail? And it has a long trunk. Is this really eloquent? Is this really <laughs> profound? It's message and supply and this? Even a child would not appreciate this thing, you know. And you're talking about matching the Quranic message in the way it's delivered. This is what we're talking about in Imitability. It is not beauty only. It is not eloquence only, because beauty is part of it. Eloquence is part of it. It is not the message only. Message is a greater part of it. It is the way it is also said. It is the way it's constructed. It is the way it is joined together. It is the way it is molded. It is the way it is expressed. That is where the challenge of the Quran is. And this is what we have to do with Psalm 23 or Psalm 29 or whatever. Do that and then we talk. People have brought many examples and Muslims have shown, scholars have shown this chapters that you have brought, look how they are not, even to the level of eloquence of the Quran, because you can substitute this word, you can modify it, you can make it better. They've shown this. One of the chapters of Surah Al-Kawthar, in Al-Qayna uh, Al-Kawthar, it's three lines. There was an imitation of it. Scholars have shown how the imitation itself is of poor quality, let alone the same stylistics. That can be modified. The Muslim scholars showed, actually, if you modify it that way, it will be more, even more eloquent. But still, it will fall short of a Quranic chapter. Surah Al-Kawthar. you just spin it off? How does someone... It sounds good, it doesn't really appreciate for life. I just gave you some examples about the constructions. Um, so even though the words, the expressions you're not familiar with, but when you look at it objectively, I, I tabulated it to show you how. I mean, whole page, and you turn the other page, only two words. Uh, what was known to the Arabs at that time? This is the way they could express it. From another find them. But everything else, that is the objective way of looking at the Quranic channels. Like the global word, isn't it? Can you, can you just explain, you know, like, for example, in our time, <laughs> you know I like that one, brother. Brother, Mantua. open the Quran and with open mind and read it. <laughs> yeah. uh, Use that example, brother. Mantua, people nice. to read with an open mind. For example, today's um, age. That's that's where my um, why I'm not able to. You know, to, to, to read. I've read it and spiritually, not read it from its entirety, but I, I tried to read and spiritually, it, it, it didn't agree with it. Didn't agree with it. it was there agree. are many things that we may not agree with because of what we have made ourselves. For example, you might have an individual who doesn't like 
killing of any animal in the creation. Not even a bacteria or a virus or a fungus. Let alone chicken and sheep and ducks and, and cows for eating, right? So when you talk about, oh, make sure they're halal to eat, for them, they don't like to eat any animals in the first place. They'll say, I don't agree with it. I don't agree with it, any meat. This is because of already preconceived bias that you built. That this is that not, would, that's an obstacle. That would exist. Yeah, yeah? That would exist. So this is an example from dietary laws. That laws, for example, people say, look, I cannot agree with how Islam says, you know, man cannot wear gold. And you like gold because it's, that's what makes you very happy. And he says, no, you can't wear gold. But you can have as much gold in heaven, for example. But this is restricted. This is how you are going to demonstrate your submission and surrender of your will willingly to your creator. Whether you're able to surrender your will, certify, I love gold, but yes, I'm going to stay away from it. Or silk. And there are people who have chains of gold. And, yeah? But that might be an obstacle to some people. But that obstacle is not real. This is an obstacle that is something that is set up, which will say a temporal, not something that is justifiable. Why is it real, not justifiable? Oh, how can I accept the Quranic message? It is in Arabic language and I don't speak Arabic, I'm not an Arab. People say this. An obstacle, a, an excuse, not justifiable. Because the message has to come to the people in their language, in the language of the messenger, whenever it came. And if it came to the people who are Arabs, then it has to be the Arabs. You can't have an individual say, oh, by the way, I was an Arab, but here's my uh, international passport. There you go, I'm universal. You, know, you cannot bring these obstacles. Or, oh, it talks about the previous prophets and messengers. I believe that in any way. But what it does is it tells you and reminds you what went wrong. The verse that you quoted is exactly what the Quran says. That the Quran came as a criteria, as a judge between falsehood and truth of what happened in the past transmission of scripture. The Quran will testify of the truthfulness of your scripture and it will falsify the falsehood and error in the scripture. This is what the Quran says, a muhaymin a standard, a criterion. This is what the Quran is doing. Quran, earlier on, message was revealed, given as a guidance, but people changed it. And you gave some examples before how you don't agree with some of the things because there are alteration done for whatever motives people have. The Quran likewise shows how the people have changed and what they have changed. The Quran says, all oh, people of scripture, don't exaggerate in your, what you say on your religion. Do not say Trinity or three or three in one. Does this is better for you, for your Lord, for your God? No, use one. Do we say? Do we say? When the, when the uh, scripture says, scripture says, where three in one. Okay. Brother, just one scripture moment. says three in one. Excuse me. It's not we. Where we in saying. the Old Testament, just now to bring you into discussion, yeah, yeah. right? Where in the entirety of the Old Testament, entirety of the New Testament, it says God is three in one. It's not, it's not. So, it's Genesis uh, uh, 1, verse 2. Yeah, what is it? It is, it is clear. Yeah, what does it say? That it is clear. God's spirit was hovering over the water. God and spirit. You can see two entities there. And the, and the third, and the third entity, the one who is uh, uh, present there is, is the one who is giving this message that God's spirit was hovering over the water. What about the water itself? Huh? The fourth entity. <laughs> fourth. Water is the fourth entity. Fourth. Fourth. Don't miss the water it's not, out. It's not entity. The, water, yeah. the water was present. While the spirit is hovering, the water is present. The fourth entity. Now, does the Bible in Genesis say these four are one? No. It says. It says, so, it says so, so, where in the entire 
the New Testament, ask you the question a second time. That the Trinity, the three in one. Three in one. There is no word Trinity in the Bible. Three in one. So, so is the Tawheed is not in the, in the Quran. Where in the entirety of the it Old and the New Testament, it says three are one. So the instruction, where, where does it give that instruction? It that that's that's the nature of God, that is three persons. There are components of a Trinity. Component. Where does it say in the scripture spirit, they are one? God and the Word. Hmm? Spirit, God, and... Did you hear what I said? Yeah. My components question, are there. My question is not why it talks about the components. Yeah, components my are there. My question is beyond that. Yeah. Com what is my question? Then the components are No, yeah. what is my question? You, you, you don't know. What is my question? Brother, to answer the question, you must know the question. See, when you, what is the question when you say ask? electricity, there, Tell him again, there are answer. components behind uh, that electricity. If, repeat the question. Repeat the question. You haven't understood the question. That's why the question is to be repeated. Yeah. I am not asking you to demonstrate from the Old and New Testament components, yeah. persons, entities, parts. I am simply asking you to prove your statement that there, these three components yeah. are one. Where do you have a statement that the three are one? These three persons. Where, where's if the you three if persons? you read uh, uh, John chapter one verse one. Mm -hmm. I have read it and it doesn't yeah. say there are three. Go or ahead, one. go ahead, brother. What is it? It, it is uh, clearly saying that uh, the word was with God and that God. Does it clearly say the three are one in this verse? Of course, of course it is. No. Uh, which part of this verse says that? Even even John picked uh, picked from uh, from so John one one. John one yeah. one. What does it which say? Which part of John one? In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. But, <laughs> yes, yeah. the Which of these statements yeah. demonstrate that the three persons are one God? I showed you uh, the first, uh, first in Genesis. In John 1.1, 1, 1, not in, in, Genesis. In, in, in Genesis. We've moved, we've moved. In Genesis. My friend, we've moved. In John 1.1, 1, 1, NRK and Holy Logos. In, in, in Genesis uh, 1, I was just about to talk one, to you two. in the Greek, right? In, in, in my funny accent, perhaps. You would not understand, right? In English, then. In the beginning was the word. Yes. And the word was with God. And the word was God. John yes. 1 1, right? Yes. Did you hear? Yes. I am saying the three persons are one God. No. That's it. My friend, we'll talk again. Of course. Sure, yeah. sure. We'll yeah, talk yeah. again. So as you realize, as you realize, you, you, you make claims you need, which you cannot you substantiate. To understand those components. It's not talking about components. Which is bringing That's what he's asking the Trinity. For but that, that's not what he's asking, you know that, right? I'm, I'm not, I don't believe in the Trinity. No? I don't believe in the Trinity. Yeah, because uh, um, many, many have, pray us many have, yeah, nice many have not you want. understood. You want. You want. Very nice to explore the Quran. That's the only introduction I've given you today. That the Quran is something inimitable for a reason. So that people can believe in it. So you need to explore it and say, why am I not believing in something that no human being, no spirit, nothing can produce? No computer. No one can produce because the Quran says this is only possible, it's only a revelation from God Almighty. So you now have to now come no, if somebody, in terms with it. If somebody write okay. a book in come Arabic, in terms with that it. is the, only the book. The previous books are not uh, the books. You see, now you only this, language this is totally true. missed yeah, this discussion. It's not true because it's Arabic. Okay. Please continue. Next okay. week, you're not nice No, he didn't say Oh, hello, brother. How did you find that conversation? No, it was interesting. It was interesting. Yeah. Um, is it Mansur? Mansur, brother Mansur. Brother Mansur, yeah. Um, yeah. They gave a unique position. I've not heard that um, argument put forward before. Did you understand it? Did you understand the argument? Yes, yes. You know, he gave a twofold um, explanation for why he believes the, you know, the, the, Quran, the Quran to be um, unique. unique. Um, you know, obviously, he said stylistically, and then there's intricacies in that. You hadn't heard of that before, no? No, I've never heard that before. It's very difficult for someone without uh, Arab Arabic to actually understand it, and I mean myself not being totally with Arabic, you, to understand the uniqueness of it. Did that give you a better insight of how Brother Mansur put it? It, it made sense, it made sense, you know, he, he had the clear tablature, but the one, one thing I would say is that obviously the criterion is one that, that, that he said himself, of course. Or, or that, that may be set previously by someone else, but um, that's going to be, 
you know, um, so, so there could be some bias attached to that because obviously they know that, well, not they know, but it can be said that those particular features are unique to um, the Quran. Mm -hmm. And so if you're using that particular criteria to um, explain its uniqueness, then I guess in one sense, um, I mean, it's set up to... Yeah. I mean, you understand that these were words that the Arabs had never actually heard before in their life, ever. Yes, that's that's exactly. uh, and to give a more modern twist to it, as would be, is, for example, in the year 2016, if I say to you the word, oh, I'm globally known, global, the word global, that's amazing to you. I mean, to us, it's not amazing. It's like, oh, that's average, global, and what? But if you go back, let's say, three, five, 500 years, and you use the word global, and you try to explain to them what global means, they didn't even know that North America and South America existed. So to them, it would blow their mind. Do you see my point? And when these words were used at the time of the Arabs, for example, as, uh, as uh, Brother Mansour mentioned, that, oh, um, I'm only going off his argument, by the way, uh, as he said, that the master of the day of judgment. I mean, these people were like, you know, they'd heard of the word master, we have. We've heard of, you know, the master of, you know, this house. But the master of the day of judgment, it totally obliterated them. You know what I mean? It's mind blowing, but so you you understood that you understood all that when he actually explained it, and it, it made sense. It made sense. It makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? What you're saying, it made sense. Um, whether or not it's something that I believe mm -hmm. is a completely different. Look story. into it, brother. But, but it's, Look it's, into it, it more. Sense, Look into it. We say God willing, inshallah. <laughs> Look yeah, into it. Yeah, good to be here. Thank you very much. Take care. Take care.